hello guys good evening how are you doing i hope you're doing fine amazing and well welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog as you have seen from the thumbnail to the title of the vlog today it's going to be a very very uncommon video and i would love to start it that way and also inform you early on on time that it may be a little bit triggering according to where you come from especially opinion wise but i'm here to just you know air out my opinions and what i truly think as a ugandan when it comes to people moving out of the country and working outside countries and you know sometimes they become confused or discombobulated when it comes to deciding either to come back or to uh, you know live there or you know sometimes it, it's a little bit hard but a person as me who has been in uganda the whole of my life and who understands the situation i really want to give it to you in my own opinion and what i think that you should consider before doing anything if that makes sense so this video has actually been inspired by one of my good friend my good friend is called caro she li she works actually in the uae recently i did put out a post and i asked you guys to please ask me questions and this is the question she did ask me uh every time i tell people back home that i'm quitting my job to come back home they be like uganda is hard nowadays you won't manage how do you guys manage back home do you have any advice do you have any advice that is the first question so the next question which was actually linked to that one is that as uh, someone do you advise someone to quit their job and become a full-time youtuber so i'm going to be giving you guys uh whatever i'm going to be saying it's my own opinion you know and in case you don't like listening to such conversations especially when it comes to the situation in uganda please click to the next video you are free you will come back tomorrow when we have a new vlog but uh before also i dive into the vlog if this is the first time you're watching me don't forget to please subscribe like comment and share out with friends and family so uganda uh and I don't even say Kampala, but Uganda generally, different districts of Uganda. When you are watching it from outside, I think it looks so juicy. It looks so calm. It looks so amazing. It looks so beautiful. But as a person who has been here for so long, I might say it's about 70, 30, if that makes sense. 70% of, you know, the good thing that is talked about it, but it has the 30% that no person talks about or the 30% that no one actually ever articulates very well when it comes to when they are communicating outside there, when it comes to its picture, when it comes to its image on, on social media or on media and all that. Yes. So we have actually you know a section of people who uh i can me as a person i consider to be uh you know people coming from a slightly gooder uganda and we have people who are coming from a middle uganda and people who are coming from a non-privileged uganda at all and i know in in any other country it's actually there but here it tends to be you know especially people who are coming from a good uganda it tends to be uh you know things tend to be very better and good for them when it comes to employment opportunities when it comes to the day-to-day -day living when it comes to opportunities in uh you know different sectors in different you know ways that as you know I, as a country operates or when it comes to different job opportunities and uh, people come from the middle part of uganda or the middle ugandans uh, these are people who partly you know have to the people who have to partly you know put in the hard work if the people in the level one i've talked about they put in two percent people who come from a middle uganda have to put in five percent in order to attain the same results that people are coming from the good uganda comes from and people who are coming from the you know the non-privileged uganda those are people who have to put in ten percent yes so if you are watching this video and you're ugandan you know definitely what i mean but nevertheless i don't want to ramble uh very very much i want to just dive into the video and the main intention of this video so how do you guys survive in uganda how do you guys survive in uganda i've written down partly some things that i would love to talk talk about the first thing it is extremely being creative and i've talked this in the earlier explanation where i say that people in different classes have to work double or even triple people in another you know category of uganda you know and there are a lot of factors how people how i do great people coming from all those three levels there are a lot of factors education wise uh region wise tribe wise all those different different things but 
the first thing the way how we survive you have to be very very creative because your full-time job or the job you are doing chances are very high that it is not going to be able to supplement or support your lifestyle uh what i'm trying to say guys is that according to the level as i described them earlier on where you fall that is how you your kind of financial situation is going to be if you are not creative as a matter of fact here we have to be very very creative creativity has to be our top notch regardless of the fact that our economy is very turbulent or very very unstable you have to be creative enough and very very diversified in order to get something very reasonable on the table and that is the absolute absolute truth if you have been uh you know very vigilant when it comes to news i think you have seen that the budget was read out and i think you have also seen all those small small details such as the uh, minimum amount of money a ugandan is getting in uganda right now being 130,000 ugandan shillings which is about 32 dollars a month that is very very little money compared to how things expensive are day after day uh that is so so little when it comes to you know paying for someone's school fees or doing all those different different things here we survive first of all through being extremely extremely creative you have to learn skills because skills they are going to help you in one way or another to be able to attain and you know uh, add on more money onto what you are getting on the table in a particular month the second thing is extremely hard working and for this one i don't want to waste a lot of time on it because also people outside of this country they are literally doing this here you have to be very very hard working because uh when you also look at this thing of social media a person in the in europe uh you know when they put when they edit and put out a video i don't want to say this in order to look you know that i want sympathy or anything like that but to attain the same money that uh, uh, the same video we did film and having the same traction and views with a person in Europe, I have to work at least three times more because of the region where I am and because of how my economy or the economy of my country is, if that makes sense. And also it comes to other jobs such as, you know, businesses, such as, you know, working in the health sector. When it comes to working in the law sector, I have family members working in the, you know, the law sector. I have, you know, myself, I'm working in the health sector i really really know that we have to be extremely hard working and double our efforts in order to put something on the table you have to work here in the evening go to another hospital in the afternoon go there and there and there so that you can at least get something even not much reasonable but at least something on the table yes the fourth thing I'll, the third thing actually i would love to talk about it is technical know who yes and i'm saying this because i know it as a matter of fact that a lot of people get jobs and get employment opportunities and hook ins because of who do you know? If you don't know anyone, my dear, even though you have that degree, you have that paper, you passed highly with the highest GPA in school, no one is going to look at you. There is someone who they are going to just call, give that person a job, give that person this and this, and they are going to pass via you. So you have to know people. You have to be humble enough to know, to get to know people, get connections, because that is our Uganda. For sure, as a matter of fact, that is our Uganda. Without knowing anyone, my dear, chances are very high that you'll survive, you know, but you have to be willing at least to make friends. At least if God helps you, at least you in within the organization, you have someone who is helping you, you know, in one way or another. That is another way that we survive. So take yourself out in case you don't have some of these things. The first thing, it has to be, it has to be settling for uh, the bad work conditions. It is another thing that we have to bear with, especially when it comes to a lot of businesses in Uganda because we don't have anywhere to run to that's why a lot of people end up going to the uae that's why a lot of people end, end up going to relocating to other countries because the working conditions are not good but we have to bear with them in order to survive because if you don't go back to your job and you say that you have quit or you have given up the job no one is going to give you that no one is going to give you the same opportunity and you will not be able to survive so here you have to bear with that you have to bear with that i think nurses have taken over two to three months without getting their payment and mind you these people have families who have all those different different responsibilities but they haven't yet got their payment but again we work i go there every day even staff in the hospital where i'm working there is staff who are on payroll they haven't got their payment but they appear every day you have to be willing to work even in those conditions no electricity you have to work because if you just if you say that you are quitting Things will not balance at the end of the day. You will not have even what you did have. 
the sixth thing which i think is also the last one it is uh, the fifth actually it is learning skills of budgeting without having these skills of budgeting my dear just forget about it in uganda if you cannot budget just forget about it in uganda because here if you cannot do that everything is cash here we don't have credit we don't have credit everything you have to have budgeted for it without that you are going to leave it out you are going to miss out on you know utilities you are going to miss out on your rent you are going to miss out on food you're going to, you are going to miss out on a lot of different different things so that's another way that we survive in uganda yes and the last one guys it is sacrificing your health for your job or for your employment here we don't have what what they call in other countries health insurance or anything like that sometimes you have to be willing to put down your health which is so so disturbing to me mentally in order to give in to work at any job you are working at in order to earn a living i know that this is also present in actually other countries but here it tends to be a little bit hard especially when you know that it is the only job opportunity you have it, it is pain, paying you just pennies but you have to keep going because if you don't keep going you don't have any option b or option c if that makes sense and this brings me to the question now i want to answer it from my respective opinion that uh you know uh superwoman did ask me or curry did ask me i think in my own opinion Cairo, uh it's a good thing to rest after doing uh you know any work especially for a very long time but i wouldn't recommend you to come back especially right now within the current economy to come back and settle in uganda what i would recommend to you is that you get another employment employment opportunity probably in another country especially in the uae uh now this this answer for it's my own opinion and it's going to superwoman so you get <laughs> by to say by the way anyway but uh you get another employment opportunity in the uae but it doesn't relate to what you have doing been doing currently uganda is not as simple as it looks to be i know a lot of people who have come back home especially from the uae and they have gone back to zero because they are not used to how much people earn here here, people earn pennies, pennies, except when you are a doctor with a PhD or a nurse with a PhD and working in Mulago. And also, if you're a nurse working in Mulago with a PhD, you have to wait for three months in order to get your employment opportunity, uh, your monthly employment, not employment opportunity, but monthly employment. So uh, you have to be very, very vigilant when it comes to you deciding on this point. I'm giving it to you in my own, from my own opinion that at least get another employment opportunity, come back home, rest a little bit, but don't have all plans to come back home here and you know start up fresh i don't recommend it i don't recommend it a lot and a lot except when you are going to be doing just little little employment opportunities which are going to be giving you about two hundred thousand ugandan shillings i wouldn't recommend it i would recommend it to someone who has already their you know their bachelors you know those big big kind of education papers and the job they are going to be doing is also slightly bigger and the money is you know slightly good but if it comes to with the local local people no 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 no. i wouldn't recommend it i wouldn't recommend it at all and at all the way how the employment here looks like in my own opinion no no no, no. i wouldn't recommend it then when it comes to you know you you know quitting your full-time job to becoming a youtuber i think that bases person to person but as a person who has been doing youtube now for over from 2018 to 2023 consistently i think it comes with time when you can be able to look at your full-time employment how much it is paying you and how much you can get from youtube if how much you can get from youtube is much higher than what you get from your full-time job then that is fine and Good. you can go on and quit your full time job and with that guys i think i've broken down what i thought was my own opinion uh from the start to the end of the vlog in case you have anything to add on don't hesitate please leave it in the comment section below it will be my greatest pleasure to interact with it and other people watch it that was my humble 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 you know kind of opinion on that kind of point and i hope i've inspired or helped someone out there especially my friend carol carol don't consider coming back home right now i would recommend you i would love it to come back home when you have fully accumulated enough wealth you have built your rentals 
like six or seven rentals or eight rentals and you know that when you come back home you're going to just rest and those rentals are going to be giving you money and otherwise i'm meaning that come back home when you have a solid solid investment solid solid investment because things don't look like how they are on media or on social media and with that said guys thank you very much for watching let me meet you in my next one tanya and shylock switching out bye for now